guys, it's Jesse, and welcome to another video. Today we will mix the redraw challenge with the old middle new hashtag that's been floating around Instagram. When I saw it, I was really excited because I love sketches and I also like looking at how people's style changes, what they used to draw and what they draw now. It's a great way to see, you know, how you've improved and how your style has changed over time. But let's talk about who she is first. This actually started out as fan art. I really liked Amy Brown's art. She does a lot of fairies in watercolor and it just inspired me so much to be creative and just draw a lot. So that's how it started out. Later on, I changed the colors and once I show you all of the pieces together, you'll kind of see how she changed over time. And I guess it's technically just a continuation of very old fan art. For this 2019 piece, I really like her pose. I like the colors. She felt a bit surreal, but like you can still connect to her. And that she feels like a mermaid. Oh yeah, I wasn't sure how to do these fin things, so I do change it up in a little bit. Oh, and you will see a lot of fish coming soon. I love them. Okay, so let's talk about the things I don't like. The overall composition. Let me explain. By herself, she looks okay. Her hair is amazing. Her fins, I love her fins by themselves as individual pieces. But I started adding more to it, like more fins and more fish, which you will see soon. I came to a point where I couldn't save it anymore, but that itself was the problem. I was trying not to start again from scratch. This is a habit that I often did when I started out drawing more seriously, and I should have reminded myself that it's okay, just get a new piece of paper and start over again. So that's the only negative thing I can say about this one. Yes, there are a lot of individual parts that I like, but do I want to draw this again? Definitely. It's also important to step back and take a break from this drawing, and that's what I'm going to do, and just move on to something a little bit differently. Oh, and here are the fish I talked about. The fish are a combination of those fighter fish that you see at the pet store. Later, I had the idea of combining it with koi fish because the colors of koi fish just went so much better with the main character in the middle. So I guess it's like fighter koi fish mix. They looked really cute. So while you see the speed paint of this one, let me talk about the middle piece from 2017 and let's compare it to this. Again, the previous one was from 2017. Fun fact, I was on the plane to Florida to visit my brother and the girl sitting next to me was carrying pizza boxes. At that time, I really felt like drawing but I didn't know what to draw. Then I looked back at my really, really old art that's still up on my DeviantArt and decided it would be fun to draw something again. Obviously, my style has changed. I used to draw a lot of deformed bodies and chibis, but now I feel more confident drawing regular sized bodies. I don't give them that badunk badunk butt and hips as I used to, and I've definitely reduced her breast size. Not because I'm uncomfortable drawing breasts, but because it's just not my thing. I never want to objectify or sexualize any of the girls that I draw, even in art. Media already does that, I don't want to be a part of it. Also, I don't practice this enough, but I felt more confident drawing hands and animals. I kept a lot of the same colors as the 2017 one, but mainly changed the type of fish, her skin color, the style of her ear, and decided not to include the coral and water. So yeah, that's it for the middle one. Now let me show you the really old one. Wow, that's a big change. Did you expect that? 
Let me just start by saying that everyone starts at the same place with our skills, and our decisions is what changes the path we go on. My path was chibis, fan art, fantasy, and cute stuff. But boy, my art has really changed compared to drawings in 2005. 2005, guys? This one, I feel, is very saturated. I avoided drawing hands, and I always smudge colors for the background. I thought it was cool. And she originally had fairy wings, but I decided not to include that this time because it's something that's just there, but doesn't add to her character or the story, at least for the new version. Sometimes you have to ask yourself, does adding this part add value or is it just there to be there? Speaking of which, I'm almost done with the new piece. Overall, I think I have improved, but if I could give any advice, it would be if you don't feel good about it, just scrap it and start from the start. I should be following my own advice. But here she is, she's finished, she has a lot of fish, and she's colorful. Old, middle, new. And there you have it. That's all for now. Again, thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.